Howdy, I'm Jammer, and welcome back to the island paradise of Animal H here in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but this time at nighttime. That's right. This is actually one of the first times we've actually done an island tour um, at nighttime before. And the reason for that is because over last weekend on stream, we totally designed and decked out a brand new spooky area with all the new Halloween themed furniture. Matter of fact, we completely overhauled my town hall area the, and the entranceway to the island. Over the past couple of days, I've been spending a lot of time stocking up as many pumpkins as I possibly get because you know what? It turns out it takes a lot of pumpkins to craft all the necessary um, DIYs to actually make a bunch of the new spooky recipes. As you can see, my little pumpkin farm here has grown a lot. And man, it is crazy to see how little of the other colors you get. You get so much more orange, which makes sense, of course, because you know you need the orange pumpkins to even craft the DIYs in the first place. All the other pumpkin colors are just used um, for customization purposes for the DIYs. I think I might do a full video actually explaining the pumpkin mechanics a little bit better in more detail. Now that I understand it a little bit more, and I know people still have a lot of questions about it because it, it is a little confusing, so maybe you can look forward to that later this week. Hopping over to my other farm, it looks like, oh yeah, see, again, still barely any colored pumpkins, which is fine, I needed a lot more orange ones, but it's crazy to see how infrequent they show up compared to the uh, to the colored ones. Anyways, without further ado, let's, let's give you a tour of the new area we worked on. Let's go over to the town hall. Actually, you know what? I think the best way to come from it is to start at Dodo Airlines and make our way up. So let's hop over there real quick. So now imagine, you just barely got out of Dodo Airlines, you're just entering the town, and this is gonna be the first thing you see when you enter the island. You see some spooky stuff here on the left and a new courtyard on the right, but let's make our way in. And, and as you can see, I have completely overhauled the courtyard in front of my town hall to be entirely Halloween themed. Now you understand probably why this tour is gonna be done at nighttime so you can see all the jack-o'-lanterns lit up and such. I seriously love the new spooky fence types. I use that a lot in the design of this new town hall area. I not only did it to kind of like section off these little seating areas, but some in front of those hedge fencing there on the back side. And of course, my favorite item of all time, the Iron Garden set, looks so good with this new fencing as well because it matches the colors perfectly. It's got the same black iron aesthetic and it really matches with the rest of the area. What I really love about this spot is it is a perfect photo op opportunity where you can like set up a bunch of people like sitting on the pumpkins in the background, all have a bunch of people stand in front of the big pumpkin in the middle and such. I think it's gonna look so cool to have a bunch of you all lined up in your Halloween costumes as we all celebrate this holiday together. I think my favorite item honestly might be this one here, the jack o lantern with the little hay barrel next to it because it just looks so cute. Being able to put like, like the little candy bowl on top of it, the little dinner plate and such on either side. I tried to make this area pretty symmetrical because I thought it would look good, but there's a little bit of variation here. Like, you know, the stacked pumpkins as well, the scarecrow like swapped on either side and whatnot. Um, but what I really love is how, um, Every single entranceway to Town Hall has its own archway, the standard orange one here. If you go on the right, you'll see actually there's the yellow one if you, you know, take this path into the Town Hall. And then if you go on the left side, the less used path, of course, it actually has the green archway. Um, my customized have all these different colored ones. There's the white one as well, but the white wood didn't really look as good like matching this area since I'm using a lot of like the dark wood tone colors and such. Um, so that's the ones I went with. Anyways, let's go actually into the Town Hall itself because I did do actually a little bit of designing here as well. As you might see in the background already, there seems to be some glowing pumpkins off in the distance. So I replaced all the flowers that used to be here on the left with a bunch of pumpkins. They seem to have all grown into triple stacks, but oh well, it, like, it fills in the area as well. But what I really love is the background here. You can kind of see looking off the, on top of the mountain, there's a couple of new jacks. There's also some pumpkins in the front, but I love the layering using the fencing, having a row of jack-o'-lanterns, and then having a row of the grown pumpkins as well. If we go to the other side real quick, you see I did the same exact thing. There's a fencing behind the trees, there's a row of jack lanterns in line with the trees, there's a bunch of grown pumpkins as well as pumpkins being grown here on the side. I also replaced all of the fencing on either side of the town hall, like where the shopping, the two shops are, with the new pumpkin, um, with the new spooky fencing, I, I'm gonna actually go up here and show you. See, yeah, I used to be having the iron fencing here, and now I replaced it with this holidays fencing. I think that's a kind of cool idea. I think going forward for like more holidays and such, I'm gonna like, I really like the idea of totally outfitting the town hall to celebrate the holiday and such. Um, so then I can like, for the whole month of October, I can kind of celelebrate Halloween every time I come to the main square. My okay, hold on. Jeremiah's trying to talk to me. What's going on, buddy? How's stuff, cutie? Oh, I said cutie. I'm trying to. No, I love when you say cutie. Nope, nope, nope. 
You are definitely saying it. No way are you not allowed to change that. So there was another spot we actually did redesign while working on this, and that is actually the little courtyard where we would all meet up and trade DIYs. And um, it's pretty simple, but I kind of made it a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more simple looking. I got a big uh, bonfire here in the middle that we can have a bunch of people sit around and such um, when you guys come and visit and we're all like queuing up and waiting for people to come from the Dodo Airlines. Just to keep it simple and to like matching the aesthetic of all the uh, Halloween stuff we got going on, I just like surrounded it in a bunch of grown pumpkins and I think it looks really good and such. It's, it's simple and I probably will end up changing it, but I think for now it like really works for like the, um, especially with the theming that is this town hall, because as beautiful as this is, and I like so, like it gets me so much in the spirit for Halloween, it's inevitable that I will tear this down, you know, once the next holiday comes around and whatnot, um, and once I experiment stuff, but I do like, I do like the idea of having like smaller sections of my town that I outfit based on like the time of year. I'll probably make a spooky section in my island somewhere to like store all these furniture items afterwards we're done here, you know? But I kind of like the idea of like, you know, re-theming an area to the current holidays in the game. I mean, since this is like such a central location, I mean, it's the town hall after all, it's something that you'll often see, and it's, it's kind of nice to have something something fresh and something new to look at. It actually helps a little bit with horizontal um, movement in my town. Like now there's a much more bigger open way to like run straight this direction and make your way to the village or neighborhood, as well as make your way over here to this side of the island. Um, obviously it's like, a, this is a, it's a little bit of a mess just for like the benches and I didn't even finish some of the pathways and whatnot. But, like, you can kind of see where I'm going with, like, I think, um, going forward, like, I'll experiment a little bit with this area and make it work out well. Like, I don't know how big of a fan I am of actually these, like, I like these trees here, but I kind of hate, like, the brick going around it like that. I wish I could, like, maybe put them where these street lamps are, but I don't think they could actually go there because they're too close to the rock or something. I don't know, I could, I could play with it or something like that. Let's just do that right now. Let's just test to see what that would look like, um, if I can even, if I even can do it, you know? Oh, I have to turn on the island designer thing real quick so I can actually like get rid of the brick spot because I did maybe put the trees here and then it wouldn't have this like you wouldn't nearly see this like big awkward like you know obviously space of like where this tree is like not able to go so yes okay you can't actually plant this here because it's a little bit too close to town hall yeah um I don't know I'll figure out something else maybe to put there um I did like having the trees that kind of like it helped frame in this area a little bit it wasn't so like awkwardly like out in the open I guess but I really am not a fan of this um this brick getting pushed in like that maybe I'll just put the trees like here like one right there and I'll just move this over one or something like that that could help a little bit um it's just like a as a current stand I don't really like how it's laid out so like let's you know let's just do that right now real quick there we move the street lands up that way I mean honestly just do something like this might be simple enough for now um I wish we could put the trees somewhere we could put it like right here and right here, but I don't know how much I'm gonna love that because that's gonna kind of totally cover up this chair, you know? Like you won't be able to see it. I really wish I could have something in this general area, um, but without like, you know, ruining this brick pathway. Because I think I think it looks better when it's actually like, fully filled out rather than just like, rather than having those little awkward like things jetting out on the sides or whatever. So I don't know, it'll be something I'll experiment going for, but it, overall it doesn't look, doesn't look half bad anyways. Actually, it's worth quickly checking. Let's see what um, let's see what Halloween item I have in the shop today. Cause maybe we could actually even incorporate it in our um design here. Looks like we have ooh an archway. You know what? I actually, I mean, I don't need this, but I might just buy it for the sake of like saving crafting materials. And I'd rather just spend the eighteen thousand bells. Honestly, <laughs> it's a lot easier to get than all the going through the nonsense of getting all those pumpkins. Actually, I guess to show you guys what the um white archway looks like, since that's the only one we don't have. I do have an idea of where we could actually put that in my town too. Not that it's gonna match necessarily with the area I'm about to put it in, um, but I have to grab a couple of white pumpkins here. Hopefully we'll have enough to actually customize it. Okay, so if we go to customizing real quick, go to the spooky arch here to show you real fast. See, it, it actually, rather than customization boxes, it actually costs the other colored pumpkin types to change the color of like each of your, the, the new spooky items. So let's make the new monochrome colored archway or the white pumpkin up to archway. And my idea is where I could put it. I've been meaning to put an archway here for a little bit now. This can be the one for now. Um, it was actually right here, going into the entranceway into the castle area. And it should, theoretically, fit perfectly. It looks a little, um, why does it look a little off? Maybe it's just because, like, the, uh, the street lamps can't go any closer, so it kind of feels a little weird. But, um, I guess I could just get rid of the street lamps. Ah, they're fine for now. But I do kind of like that. I've been meaning to put an archway here for a little bit. Um, so then it kind of gives, like, a more of a more of a formal entranceway into this um into this area here on the right. But anyways, guys, I think that's all I wanted to show you off real quick. Like I said, it was going to be probably a shorter episode. Oh, wait, I need to put this bench back. 
All right, remind me to get this, get a new bench to put here. I forgot that I stole that for the town hall. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you off this new area I worked on. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. I think this still area is simple, but still needs a little bit of work, which is fine for now. But I am really happy with how this new spooky area turned out. Um, and using all the new spooky DIYs and such to totally outfit the town hall to get into the holiday spirit of Halloween. It just feels so spooky, especially at night with all the pumpkins being grown, with all the spooky fencing surrounding the town hall. And I really love that all the jack-o'-lanterns like glow up at night. Even the green ones, these ones are actually like the green pumpkins. See, you can actually see them a lot better. You can see what their the actual color a lot better when you turn it off. Um, but when they're lit up, they actually like totally match the rest of the collection here, which I was, that's why I was like hesitant to use the green one as much compared to the, the orange and the, uh, compared to the orange and the yellow ones, because those ones just match together so well. But at nighttime, you can barely even tell the difference. It, it like, honestly, all really comes together. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give this video a big awesome like. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. As a reminder, we do stream this game every weekend at 10 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube Live. That's both Saturdays and Sundays. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter as well as my Instagram account to keep up with everything we do in regards to the channel, as well as join our community Discord. The link to that is in the description below. It's a great place to find friends, to play Animal Crossing with, and all that fun stuff. I highly encourage you to check it out. So thanks guys again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!